There are two different types of main sites in SharePoint, and you can see them both by clicking on the Create Site and the two options that come up, Team Site and Communication Site. Now, in general, Team Sites are the ones where you collaborate. It's more departmental, team, region specific. Communication Site is where you're disseminating and publishing information, kind of a more of a push mechanism and people who are coming to the site are consuming information. They're not the ones who are collaborating. They're just reading or downloading information from there. Now, let me show you examples of each one here. This one, uh, well, that's the news. I'm going to go actually go into this one here, Contoso Intranet, open it up in a new tab right here. That's a communication site. Now, usually the communication sites don't have the left navigation bar. You'll see that that doesn't have it. It does have a nice top navigation. It has what's called hero web parts right up there. And it has uh, additional information here in terms of high level announcements, events, posts, and maybe some documents, but most of them are for consumption purposes, not really for collaboration. You're consuming, reading, downloading. Now going back here, if I go to a team site, Let's so open this one up. This one has a left navigation, gives it away right away that this is a team site. It also has a bunch of web parts here that are in a space where it is feels very welcoming for me to collaborate, for me to upload documents, to create issues here in the issue tracker and to do more stuff. And that's usually the one where it's many to many people who are conversing with each other, collaborating and so forth. While once again, a communication site is much more to consume information, to read information. Now, in terms of adding content, you can basically do similar things. So if I click on edit here, let me add additional information right here. I can go ahead and click on this to add web parts, just like I can add web parts in a communication site. So if I go here, same thing, edit, once I'm in edit mode, I can go in and say add a web part. That's very similar. When you go to site contents and you look at the information that's in the content of the site, that's also very similar. You're going to see document libraries. You're going to see site assets, site pages, and so forth. Let me go to this one here and show you the same thing. So site contents. And once again, Similar, site assets, site pages, document library, some lists, and so forth. Now, once again, the main difference here being how these sites are used. You want to ask your admin as to which site to create if you're not sure. But once again, if you're pushing information, that's going to be a communication site. If you want to have people come and collaborate, that's usually going to be a team site.